Geometry Dash. 2.2 is out and today I'll beat the new main level Dash along with some other 2.2 levels without using practice mode. This is my first attempt of Dash by Robto. For my first attempt I did better than expected, but that's mostly because I've already seen the first 30% of the level in the initial sneak peek. It continued with a very simple ball part and I opened swing copter and surprisingly I found myself in the second half. After passing my previous best, I got surprised with what I think is the coolest 2.2 effect I've ever seen. What? That's so cool! Okay, this is the coolest thing I've seen in 2.2 so far, the countdown. I then passed the robot with cool rotation gimmicks and while I was only on my fourth attempt, I already saw myself in the last part. The last part was really straightforward, you jump into one side and teleport to the other. However, at 96% I accidentally forgot the intended direction, I got pushed out from the opposite side compared to my expectations and this happened. What? It came from the other side, I didn't expect it, okay, but still going. Wait, this is it, right? Oh, and the end screen just comes from the middle. That's crazy. I haven't seen any coins in the level though. That's quite disappointing. After barely surviving the very end, I beat Dash by Raptor. Very underwhelming experience. It took me less than 3 minutes to beat a new main level. That's why I decided to try rebeating the level with coins without using practice mode, obviously. Okay, so apparently the first coin is if you click the last red square at the end, which is supposed to kill you, then you will get a coin. Oh, and it's synced to the music, oh my god. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the second coin is going to be way harder. Like, I know where to go, but it's a small gap, so I'm not sure if I will do it first try. We'll try though. Oh, okay, no. Yeah. That was very expected. Unfortunately, I still struggle to collect them, especially the second one. Too late. Play it again. I don't know how I saved that, but I did. I've heard that if you click at the end of this part six times and you get a third coin. Let's see if that's true. Spam for your life and here it is. Oh, I almost just didn't catch it. Okay. And here it is, dash complete with three coins. Geometry Dash. Okay, so in total Dash took a 16 attempt, which is way less than I initially expected. That concludes my question, the 2.2 is still decently sight readable. However, I was still decently unsatisfied with the challenge, so I decided to keep going. The tower awaits me. Again, I've never seen any spoiler of the tower besides the sneak peeks, therefore I'm going into this completely blind. My first major obstacle were the spinning platforms, since I always found myself drowning in the acid sea. I expected the first 
introduction to platformer mode to be way easier. And that's because if you forget to jump early enough, there is no way for you to survive. And you just have to watch yourself descend into the pit of poison. Well. Oh, you have to jump back. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. Park. Oh, yes, I did it. I did it, finally. Suddenly though, I noticed something shiny. Oh, there's a blue coin. Oh, this is the sneak peek part. I see you. I see you. Yeah, this is the one I mean. I didn't realize though that there will be three of those. There's three blue coins? I have to get back. So I had to split my completion into one coin at a time. After finding all the hidden blue coins, I lighted up my path into the second level. In the sewers, I've tucked in my little detective suit and observed my surroundings only to find every single blue coin on my first try. What is up there? Do you see the grey box? Do you see the path on the left? Do you think I can just jump on these pistons? Wait, I'll try it. Yes! Okay, it was at the end of the level. Okay, so I have all three. By advancing to the boss fight, I saw my biggest roadblock yet. I did see this part in the sneak peek as well, but I would have never thought that focusing on two things at once would be so overwhelming. Picking up coins fast enough so they don't vanish below the ground, and also dodging all attacks took me almost 5 minutes to put together. That's also when I realized that Rob Top hid most blue coins behind cracks in walls. Will definitely come in handy later on. I speedrun the heck out of this level by being 30 seconds ahead and progress to the cellar. The twist to this level is the lack of checkpoints in a considerably large part of gameplay. The worst part is that I realized it only after a whole minute of climbing. This is no checkpoint! No way! This is cruel! Also remember the wall cracks? Rob accidentally pulled the same trick twice. And don't count of me being a fool who gets bamboozled repeatedly. Since, again, I haven't seen any spoiler of this level so far, it took me a decent amount of time to figure out this staircase in particular. That was a close call. Please. Please. Then I brutally blew up the skeleton and got to the end. This time, however, I wasn't quite sure where the last blue coin is, and I got stuck for more than 10 minutes figuring it out. And even now, I'm not surprised. It's here, out of all places. Last but not least, after playing Pac Man with the monsters in the secret hollow and killing the cursed thorn. Nice. I was done with the tower. For now at least. Right after 2.2 release, there were two levels rated using the features, so I knew I had to try them out. Without practice mode, of course. Enjoying the sun by Autonic was a little buggy, not gonna lie. Okay, I found a bug, a very interesting one. My screen is black, but I hear the sound effects. Dastardly, on the other hand, had a perfect usage of the new 2.2 features. It wasn't overdone and pretty clean and fair to play. This level is sick. This level is amazing. <laughs> I had no idea what was happening there. Yes! Nice. Dude, I used 100% of my brain power on that dual part. After that, I decided to spend all of my resources I carefully harvested for the last two years. Little did I know, I should have unlocked the path first. This is one of the first things you should be doing with your mana orbs as soon as you get 50,000. Bruh. And with a snap of a finger, I was out of orbs and had a big grind in front of me to get them back. I started by beating a weekly demon. Without practice mode, of course. Dude, this is so hard to beat uh, without practice mode. The daily level, no practice again, and updated my icon set. As you can see, in this video I haven't touched the most important button of 2.2, and if you want to see me explore it and build a few levels, make sure to subscribe to my channel, and if we hit 10,000 subscribers before the end of January, I'll do something crazy in 2.2 editor. I already have a few shiny creator points, therefore I feel like it might be interesting. Go subscribe if you're interested in that, and here is my latest video that algorithm thinks you want to watch. Goodbye everyone.